Ladies and gentlemen, securing the present and preparing for the future. This is what kept us busy in 2014, as you will discover when you read our annual report. Because we live in a rapidly evolving information society, we must help to put in place the framework conditions which enable Switzerland to take up tomorrow's challenges in relation to telecommunications, the media and postal matters. The stakes are high. It is therefore out of the question to take decisions without first having an overview of the current situation. This is what we have done in the two reports which we produced in 2014 for the Federal Council. They describe on the one hand the Swiss media landscape and on the other the state of the telecommunications market. They also open up routes for the future. It will be necessary to revise the Telecommunications Act and to initiate a debate on public service in the media sector. In relation to the Internet too, the world is changing. So in 2014, we work towards ensuring that .swiss domain names will be available from September 2015 and guaranteeing the sustainability of .ch addresses. But the efforts of Ofcom and Switzerland are not limited to the national boundaries. Within the International Telecommunication Union and the Governmental Advisory Committee of ICANN, the corporation which manages internet domain names, the office's representatives occupy important positions which enable them to play the role of a mediator and to defend Switzerland's interests. The extent of the upheavals in the areas of, for which Ofcom is responsible certainly make our job a difficult but also very exciting one. It is therefore essential for us to have internal processes which enable us to achieve our tasks efficiently. This is why we have also been working on the development of a new strategy for the office. It provides us with the necessary processes to identify future developments while achieving our daily tasks. For instance, we were present in 2014 at a number of major events held in Switzerland, such as the International Geneva Motor Show, the Air 14 Air Show in Payern, and the European Athletics Championships in Zurich. Our mission then, to guarantee that wireless communications have sufficient frequencies and to ensure that they function without interference. In terms of our surveillance activities, these concern both devices and equipment and compliance with the rules on sponsorship and advertising on the radio or television, as well as the Swiss Post's offering in relation to payment transactions. This annual report also presents an overview of my first year at the head of the office. It has been an exciting year, during which I have been impressed above all by the expertise and the commitment of the office's personnel and by the wealth and diversity of our tasks. I think that you will agree with me as you peruse Ofcom's 2014 annual report. I do hope that you find its contents interesting.